this is the normal distribution this is how it looks it's a bell-shaped curve and it has a population mean in the center and also the median and the mode the x-axis is represented by a random variable as you can see we have the mean in the middle the population mean and it's separated by one standard deviation to the right which is where the inflection point is and then two standard deviations to the right and then we have one minus one standard deviation to the left and negative two standard deviations on the left this curve doesn't touch the x-axis this curve it represents different things like heights test scores measurements of errors um, you'll see it in nature a lot but also the central limit theorem for the importance of this is for the central limit theorem inference hypothesis testing data analysis and you can you can draw this as long as you have the mean and the standard deviation also the median and the mode is represented in the middle